Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Today our topic is very simple and you do not need to be a genius to come with a conclusion. We always see Muslims saying to us statement like uh, Allah is one, the Christians worship three gods, uh, which is absolutely a false statement and we laugh at it. But you know the Muslims are kind of people who they are copy paste, uh, you know, uh, followers of Muhammad. Muhammad he was a copy paste but he adds some stuff like he copied stories from the Bible, he adds some spice and then the story became hilarious funny. Like a story of Suleiman and how Suleiman is a real person, yes, but Suleiman he did not have a flying carpet. In the Quran, Suleiman he have a flying carpet and for sure by the way flying carpet is true. My grandfather he used to have one and I used to go all the time to all places. It's gas free and um, you know very nice you do not need a visa just fly and Suleiman he used to carry all the kingdom all his kingship in the top of the flying carpet nobody questioned that but Islam is about science Quran full of science so forget about the flying carpet now our topic today is about Allah saying we if we ask Muslims why Allah he say we the answer is here And this is an answer you hear it from all Muslims, and those are the scholars supposedly. So the question is saying, why does the Quran use the term we in its ayat? Ayat, you see, even the word ayat is not even Arabic. And yet the Quran claimed that this is a pure Arabic book. The word Quran itself is not Arabic. The word ayat is not Arabic. And endless list of words have nothing to do with Arabic. However, the answer here is saying, <clears throat> uh, praise be to Allah. It is feature of literary, literary style in Arabic that a person may refer to himself by pronoun Nahnu, we, for respect or glorification. Did you see what, what the reason Allah he say we? For respect and glorification. Anyone notice how crooked this answer? So Allah, he found it not enough respect for him to say, I. It's better to be we. For that, respect and glorification. Allah may be glorified and exalted sometimes refer to himself as a singular by name or use of a pronoun and sometime by using a plural as uh, in perhaps interpretation of the meaning mm -hmm. so if Allah can use uh, I what the problem why he want to use we for the self-respect because already you insulted yourself by saying I, you are singular. Isn't it? I mean, the answer itself saying, Allah, he called himself we, because this is glorifying and respect. That means it's not fit to use I, because that is disrespect. Do you see the crocked answer? So Allah, when he want to level himself, he say we. And look what the answer is saying. In the style of Arabic, a person may refer to himself by a pronoun, nahnu, which means we, for respect or qualification. Okay, so this is an Arabic human being term for somebody is very uh, proud, rich, filthy rich, maybe king, you know. So he say we, huh? So Allah is copying the human being, getting jealous from them. So you just told me that Quran is copying a term of used used by by the the Arab, and especially those who they are think of themselves highly. So Allah He decided to be we too. I mean they are we, I we. Let us we together. We 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 we. Here you see the logic is very funny and make nonsense. But Allah He say I. And Allah is one. 
So how Allah can limit himself by saying we if he is the creator? I mean, who is who? What is higher than this? Isn't it enough to say yourself that you are Al-Khaliq, the creator? Who needs such a we? How silly. And if Allah is copying the human being usage for the word, which is only for the greedy, for the one who don't want to be humble, which is Islam supposedly claim that this is those are the bad ones. You know, the Quran have a verse. Let me show it to you. Let us see. Remember here, the Quran supposedly is a book of guidance, right? And the book of guidance is telling us that Allah, when he say we, he is glorifying himself. So when he say I, he is not glorifying himself. That is a term of disrespect. If we go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses like this one. It is he who has created for you all things. Okay, hold on. We got it that we, you are respecting yourself. It is he, you are respecting who? And why Allah, he said to himself, it is he. And that is the case in everything in the Quran. If you search how many times, Allah, he says, it is he, you will not believe it. Look at this verse as an example. It is he who created the heavens and the earth. It is he. You see, the second you read this, you ask yourself, maybe the one who is writing the Quran, obviously, is not Allah. It's someone talking about Allah. But the Muslim, they say no. The one is talking here is Allah, word by word. So why Allah, who like to respect himself by saying we, switching now to it is he? Who is he? They will say to you in Arabic, you do that. That's not true. A person, he don't say about himself, it is he. That is a big fat lie. People will laugh at you. Imagine I'm in front of you now and I'm talking to you and it's, you know, and then I say, uh, talking about myself, say, it is he. Who made this video? Uh, it is he. That's, that's funny. Had never happened in any language. Only foolish people can accept such a lie. And for sure, the Muslims, they would try to fabricate all kinds of answers to cover over this. But as long as it is established that Allah, He respect Himself, by saying we, that means it is better for Allah to be we from He, based on their answer. Correct? The answer is so clear. It is feature of literary uh, style in Arabic that a person may prefer himself, refer to himself, pronoun nahnu. So Allah, he say, yeah, he say nahnu. I say nahnu, he say nahnu. Allah may glorify himself, the exact, sometimes refer to himself in secure name. Okay. Verily, we have give you a manifest victory. Hmm. Quran, 
chapter of opening occupation the capitalism of Islam they want to occupy the whole earth chapter of Al-Fatih the funny Muslims when they occupy their land like now Erdogan he, want, he, he ordered to take another church and the whole world is watching they call it victory Fatih stealing your home stealing your wife taking your land victory this is the gang mentality in other similar phrase but Allah never referred to himself by use the dual because prefer a, a plural refer to the respect he deserved here I find it very funny because if this is the, this, this is what he deserved then he should not say I ever he should not say it is he ever he should be stuck with we because anything else it's not the deserve the respect he deserve right so the answer of Muslim showing us that it's not fit for God to be I it's fit for God to be we for this is respect he deserve and Allah he wanted to deserve to be respected so he chose to say we but he is one Hold on. Oh. When Allah, he says, in chapter 2, verse number 23, if you are in doubt about what we revealed to you, by the way, it doesn't say reveal, it says what we descend to you. This is false translation. Uh, to our servant, Okay, which is Muhammad supposedly. Uh, and by the way, it doesn't say servant, it says a slave. And produce, then produce like this surah. Produce one. Okay, so Allah is making a challenge. Here you see that the challenge of the God, the Muslims they claim, have a lack of intellect. It's full of stupidity. And I will make the answer very simple. Why? First, he is saying, we revealed. Okay, how many of you revealed to Muhammad? Muhammad never spoke to Allah. All Muslims agree with this. He never saw Allah. He never even heard the fart of Allah. So when the verse says, we revealed, here we see a company, a process of delivery all the Muslims agree that Allah he sent Jibreel to deliver to Muhammad so here we does not present one God present two because the one who deliver really it is not Allah the one who deliver was Jibreel the delivery is done by two. And yet the Muslims, they say, here we stand for Allah only. In the same time, when this God, he challenged to make a verse like it, I find it very embarrassing and very stupid. I mean, this God, he could not make a challenge more strong than this, saying, make a verse like it. Well, the whole Quran is not made by Allah. Let us prove it. I'm just trying to show people how to use their logic how to use the gift of God, which is called the brain. Uh, if you ask the Muslims, the Muslims, they say to you, the, all, the, the whole Quran, word by word, is Allah talking. Hmm? Are you sure? They say yes, we are sure. If we ask a Muslim who is talking here in this conversation as an example, they will say Shaitan. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Are you guys getting where I'm going? Anyone notice what I'm going to say now? 
I'm watching the text. I want to see which one of you will, will, will notice right away what is next. If the shaitan is the one is talking in this verse, how in the world the Quran says, make one, so, one verse like it? Well, this is the verse made by the Quran. Who is the one who said, because though thou shalt throw me out, by the way, it says not to throw me out, it says, you know, you, you deceive me. Out of the way, hmm, I will lie in wait for them on the straight way, which is very, I mean, doesn't make sense anyway. Who is talking here? They say the shaitan. But who is the one who make the Quran? Is Allah. Who is the one making the challenge? Allah. Allah make a challenge to say what? To make a verse like it. What, what, what do you mean make verse like it? Make a verse like it. And now you are saying to me that shaitan is the one who was speaking there. Are you getting my point? If shaitan making make a speech, shaitan is shaitan is that shaitan words is documented in the Quran. Yet nobody can make Quran like Allah. Allah He said to the shaitan, "What prevented thee from prostrating when I command thee?" He said, "I am better than he." If you ask a Muslim, can you make a sentence? Can I make a sentence like the Quran? They say, no way, nobody can make a sentence like the Quran, not even a word. But the Quran says, Shaitan is speaking in the Quran, and this is Quran. He said, I am better. He said, this is what he said. Who? Shaitan. Yet nobody can make Quran better than the Quran. Here you see the stupid argument and the connection between he and he and who can do like he so no one can do like allah but allah himself then asked that shaitan he said this and this is quran are we taking notes not to forget to mention that muhammad he copied uh, uh, ideas and words from omar and suddenly they became quran i mean the hadith says Omar said that uh, my Lord, he agreed with me in three things. Some Muslim scholars, they say seven things. Some, they say ten, which means the numbers of how many uh, 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 idea became Quran. And he took them as they are. He took them one word, one word by word, you know. He did not like, a, 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 you know, copy the idea. He copied the whole sentence, the whole phrase. You see it? Why Muslim women wear hijab? Allah, he ordered them, or Umar al-Khattab. It was Umar. And the verses came the same as I had said. Read it carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari, and this is the Muslim translation. And the verses came as I had said. So, Umar, he says something. Umar, he make fun of Saud that she was doing poo-poo. He flirt with her. Filthy man. No respect to Muhammad or his family. The wife of Muhammad doing poo, poo outside, he said to her, we recognize you, Sauda, uh, 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 uh. we saw your bum. So, and then he went inside the house and he told Muhammad, do this to your wife, order them to wear hijab. And then Allah, he take the statement of Omar each time he talk, as I said. So the verse came the same as I had said, was really, do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, I have nothing to do with it. This is the Muslim website. So when Allah he say, we, he is copying the human being statement as the Muslim answer us. Human being, he wanna be greedy, he wanna be so proud. He don't wanna be humble, he wanna be the devil. So he call himself we. Allah copy we from the human. To respect himself, as you see in the answer. Allah he copy from Umar, Quran to make himself sound better. Allah, the one God, 
he stated in the Quran that nobody can make Quran like this Quran, yet he is stating in the Quran that Shaitan is speaking, Shaitan he said this, Mary she said that, Jesus he said that, Musa he said that, Ibrahim he said that. So all of those in the Quran, they said that, and yet this is Quran. This is the statement of Shaitan here, as we showed you. How this is, can be Quran, and this how nobody can, can make like it. Especially here, by the way, you will notice something very funny. Maybe in English, when you read, you don't notice the stupidity of this statement. Because you will notice here that the end of the statement, it says, The last word in the verse, after it, it says, So all of them, they have to end with the letter in or N. So shaitan was making rabbi music, so Allah, he said, Rab, the shaitan, he answered him. So Allah, he said to him, لماذا لا تأكل الطعام يا مسكين Shaitan, he answered, يا أحمق يا الله لم تعطني سكين فقال الله له قد أنزلناكم في بلاد فلسطين لتعيش فيها في, 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 في بحر من طين فقال الشيطان أنت حمار أنا الآن في حطين وشتان ما بين أرضي وأرض فلسطين So شيطان he answered by rubbing music too Shaitan, he add the word at the end, here, to match with Allah, rap? Are you getting my point? Shaitan is rapping too. Not only he is making Quran, he is rapping and he is consistent with the, with the letters of Allah. So Allah, he end with teen. Shaitan, he said, uh, you know, uh, 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 sorry, uh, Allah he said Sajidin, uh, Shaitan he said Teen. Okay, it's your turn now. Com continue. What a joke. So, Allah is one, but Allah is we. Allah is we because nobody like him. But you just said, this is how a human being they do. How, the, how nobody like Allah, but Allah is copying the human being. And he's not copying even the good one, he's copying, copying the greedy. When the Muslim, they come to us and they say, you Christian worship three gods, show me where in the, which Bible it says, you know, which book. You know, the Bible has many books. The Bible is a book of books, many Muslims do not know that. Which one? It says uh, our God is many gods. Which one it says uh, one plus one plus one equal to one? Where did you get this from? All the Bible says from the first pages to the last pages, God is one. In the New Testament and in the Old Testament. We? The funny, the Christian believe in the Trinity, but God don't say we. The Muslims believe in, supposedly they claim that they don't believe in a trinity, right? But Allah, he say we. So where is the oneness of Allah? The oneness of Allah in physical existence or in a statement? In the statement, Allah is not one, he is we. In physical, they say he's one. That is very funny. There's a verse in the Quran, it says, Chapter 21, verse number 17. If we want to take a wife, a partner, a woman actually, it doesn't even say wife. The Arabic, the word lehwan, lehwan, this is an insult word for women. The Arab use lehwan mean fun, and that is women. So women they are just for fun. They are created just for fun. 
So if we want to take Lahuan, okay. What does that mean? I mean, this is very confusing, especially the Muslim translation, always, always is deceiving. Let us go and see the interpretation. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, Christian Prince, this is not true. Uh, the Quran doesn't say that. I always show you on the screen what it says. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Read with me carefully. Had we desired to find some diversion that which provide, provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child partner, what kind of partner? Child? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I need to go back a little bit. But isn't it a law? He said, how he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? I mean, this website is hilarious. You search for, you know, it show you any any word have connection with the word. Uh, 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 okay, hold on. All right. Chapter six, verse one hundred one. It says, "To him." is due the primal uh, or origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Here you notice Allah speaking about himself as he. Allah questioning the ability of he. How can he? Allah, he just told us that Allah, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So how Allah is the Almighty? So it is he who don't have a son because he don't have a girlfriend. But okay, let us go back. Let us go back, my friend. As long as Allah, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Then how here, he say, to him do the primal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son? And then in chapter 21, he said to us, if Allah, he wanted to have a son or a wife or a woman, he will take it from ourselves. Let us change the interpretation, so just to show you different opinion of Muslims, of scholars. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, a real witness of Islam. The one, only one actually, Muhammad, he prayed to Allah to make him the ink of the nation, which means the highest scholar. Ibn Abbas, he said, then Allah revealed the following when they said that the angels are Allah's daughters. Okay. This verse revealed because they say Allah have a daughter. So he said, if we want to take partner, we take it from ourselves. If we wished, mean, read carefully. If we wish to have a wife, we could found it. The Muslim here, they say our presence. That's lie. It says from ourselves. Go back to the other interpretation. And, and love with me. How suddenly everything changed. Is it ourself? Or it is our presence, read it carefully. Found it with ourself. So how Allah is saying we, as a, as, a, as a term of respect, and Allah will not be respected enough if we say he, and then Allah, he turned that he want to have, if he want to have a son, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. And then in order to have a girlfriend, he do it so he can have a son. So if we want to take a partner, we found it with ourselves. Can the Muslim here say we, 
is for the sake of respect. My friend, don't ask me questions, change the topic. I notice always people, they post, you know, think, think, be, be mature, be adult. Don't we, don't we have a topic? Are we done? So now you just disturb us by asking questions. I have nothing to do with the topic. So here you see that the statement of Muslims about having one God is very stupid. And remember carefully, I'm not saying Allah is two or three or four. Allah does not even exist. Our conversation here to discuss the logic of this corrupt God. And remember, the Quran says why they cannot uh, uh, comprehend the Quran. Why they cannot, uh, uh, you know, understand the Quran. Why they cannot deal with the Quran. Chapter 4, verse number 82. Huh? Why? If this book is not from Allah, you will find too many contradictions. We just found many. Allah is one, but yet Allah want to take a partner from ourselves. Allah is one, but yet he called himself we. And in order to explain that, we come with our own interpretation saying, this is for respect. Where Allah, he says, I use we for respect. Can you show me? Where you get this? Is it Allah says there to you? But because the Muslim, they could not. You see, the verse is so clear. Why they cannot consider the Quran? The Muslim themselves, they cannot consider the Quran. So they have to come with their own fiction interpretation, which does not exist anywhere. That Allah, he used we because he, this is a respect. But Allah want to take a partner from ourselves. Is that respect too? And when you say Allah, if you want to take a partner, he take it from the angels. How you are answering them, saying to them, I'm not, I don't have angels or daughters or anything like that. I don't have daughters. And then you say to them, if I want to have a wife, I am going to have sex with partner from ourself. And look what it says from after. From among the beautiful eyed hoodies, all the angels, Allah is going to have sex with Jibreel. And Jibreel will get a bread net and will deliver a baby. And then Allah will have a son. Allah will have sex with the women. She is a, a, from the beautiful Eid Huris. You see, the idea of Allah saying that he want to have sex, if he want to have sex with the women, that means he's a man. You cannot have, you cannot, I mean, you cannot make a mosquito have sex with the, with the horse. I mean, it's a mosquito, this is a horse. You have to be, to be I mean, you see, even like if, if you have sex with different animals, because some they do that, right? Some sick people. But it have feature, you know, which make it happen. Like an animal have a private part. You know what I mean? So Allah, when he speak about having sex with the beautiful eyed women, they are women. He's what? What he is? We know the Quran mentioned that Allah, he have a leg, right? And Allah, he changed his shape. So maybe Allah, he changed his shape and became a human to have sex at that moment. Uh, so the Quran is not only book of contradiction, it is hilarious, a stupid book. Any Muslim have a comment? You know, always the Muhammadan, they try uh, to, to explain things uh, they struggle. They struggle badly just to, to explain things. But the more they struggle, the more we see how stupid this book is. As an example, why you cannot beat somebody in his face? You beat him in his bum, as an example.
محمد he copy a phrase from the Bible and the Muslim today they struggle to explain it read carefully this is Sahih Muhammad is telling the people that when you when you fight with somebody don't hit him in the face because Allah created him in his image and look at the funny translation where is the word image Well, it's gone. In Arabic, you see, it says Allah Surati. In order to uh, escape the deception, the Muhammadan they try to, to, to hide the truth. We go a little bit because this is done by many translators. So this is, the first translator was a deceiver, obviously. Look at this. The prophets say that Allah created Adam in his image, not picture. What? He created Adam in what? In his image. But isn't it, this is a phrase exists in the Bible? That God, he created Adam in his image? <laughs> How the Muslim they will explain that to you? Oh, they say, no, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Here the hadith saying that Allah, he created uh, uh, Adam in his image. Oh, hold on, so what is image? What does that mean? Uh, it's mean the image of Adam. But, okay, well, but why he's saying Allah created Adam in his image? Does it make sense? What does that mean? What does that mean? doesn't make sense unless you take it back to the origin where it's coming from that God he created the man in his own image Genesis chapter 1 verse number 20, 27 it's exactly word by word exactly word by word and then Muhammad add his own explanation and his own understanding that Adam was 60 cubits And by the way, uh, you know, to, to, to prove that Adam was 60, he was 30 meter. I'm 29 meter, you know, I'm, we're getting shorter, we have to admit. Yeah, he was 30 meter. This is why if you go in the internet, you will find tons of uh, uh, Islamic fabricated graves. Let me find you some. Well, we show you this before, you know, if you remember. Let me show you the, the, the grave of uh, uh, Adam or Noah. Hmm. Are you ready to see the graves? Because the most of them, they want to prove the idea that they, are, they were very tall. I mean, come on, they are very tall. So now what we will do? In order to prove to you that Adam was tall, now we have to make a graves they are so tall, brother. Look at this. This is the grave of Noah. This is the Islamic grave of Noah. Look like a sandwich and it's not even straight. Let me introduce to you the sandwich of Noah. What happened to Noah? Why is what, what, why is so long like this, brother? What is this? So they fabricate, I mean, you, you know where the grave of Noah? And the only Muslims knows that. The uh, history preserved for them. History preserved. You know?
And the funny, you will find the same grave is exists in many places. I mean, you, you might find the grave, grave of Noah in, in Pakistan. You'll find it in Afghanistan. You might find it in uh, Egypt. You might find it in Syria. Because look like Noah, he died, he died everywhere. And he had many bodies. You know, I mean, this guy, he was like, uh, you know. Just because Muhammad, he fabricated a lie. And then the Muslims, they have to make the lie sound true. And then, you know, the poor, the poor naive people, they come and, uh, you know, give donation. Because supposedly they would get a blessing, you know. Two hundred foot, two hundred ten foot long grave. Yeah. Guess this is the grave of who? Anyone knows? This is the grave of who? This is a prophet Umran. This is the same one Muhammad, he thinks he is the father of Mary. Yet he is the same one, is the father of Musa. This is why the Quran says, Mary the sister of Aaron. I mean, if this is the father of Mary, he was 210 foot. Okay, how many meters 210 foot? Hold on, I'm, I'm not good in the... Uh, let us see. Let us convert. Uh, I'm going to use Google, you know. Somebody somebody, tell us uh, how many. 210 foot. This is the father of Mary and Musa. Mary, the mother of Jesus and Musa. Because, yeah, they are, well, Jesus is nephew, according to, to, to the Quran. Nephew of, uh, of Musa. <laughs> I mean, what happened? So, what was the what was the height of Moses? I mean, if the father is two hundred ten, the son is one. And the Muslims are busy. One plus one plus one is equal to one. I mean, all the all the nonsense they have, they come with additional nonsense which we don't believe. Who believe? Who of us believe in one plus one plus one? You're funny. The water is steam, snow, liquid. Yet it is water. The source of life is a tree. Three as shape. And three as construction, H2O. The fingerprint of God, the Trinity. Isn't it the Quran says, We made from the water every living thing. Every living thing is made from a tree, which is the water. It makes sense that you will have an endless private part in heaven. Makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make. I mean, yeah. Uh, by the way, do you know how long, how tall you will be in the heaven? Anyone knows? Uh, no, you do not need to be tall to build the uh, the pyramid, my friend. That's not. That's a funny statement. How tall? How tall you will be in the heaven? Ninety mile. 90 mile, the woman, she will be 30 mile. Oof, 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 oof. You will look like a worm. How you can stand up? I mean, if we take this guy from the grave, how in the world he can walk? I mean, look how narrow he is. Do you see how narrow he is? This guy can be broken by the wind. Conclusion. Everything in Islam makes sense. We have to admit, nobody can come with religion like this religion. Just don't discuss. Don't discuss, otherwise they will bully you. Who wanna be bullying a Christian prince? Let us bully him. 
the religion of the bully Muhammad. They cannot refute us, they cannot answer us, we got them busted. This is a very funny, stupid religion, if we can call it a religion even. And yet what they do in order to avoid answering all the problem, they bully you. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Okay, we will try not to make it long. See, uh, see, I, I was trying to, uh, I'm trying to make my videos shorter. I mean, how in the world Christian Prince, he can make his videos shorter? It's impo mission impossible. It's like making uh, making this guy, uh, Imran, fit in, a, in your laptop. No way, you cannot put it in your back. I mean, look at this guy. Thank God we are not that big now. I mean, where we were going to put the people, you know, uh, the, the whole earth would be a graveyard. If everyone, he need 210 foot for his grave, and we make a tube in the top, I mean, the whole earth is occupied by grave. The Brazilian jungles, which is in Alaska, will be covered by graves. Because Allah is the best in geography, by the way. Yeah, it's Allah who discovered that the Euphrates River and the Nile River, they are located in the heaven, not in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. True story. And the dummies are busy with one plus one plus one is equal to one, brother. Wrong mathematics, brother. Wrong mathematics. <laughs> uh, El Mexicano, he got a question for me. Si, senor. Mexicano, what is your question, my friend? What is your question? I speak uh, Spanish fluently, by the way. Once I have a uh, someone who's Mexican, he was throwing garbage in front of my house. I don't speak you know, Spanish. So he was saying to me, you know, he, th he throw his, he's not throwing garbage, he's throwing like, you know, the, the plastic bag in my, in my garbage container. I said to him, don't put it here, put it in your, in front of your home. He said to me, Basura, Basura. I don't know what Basura. I mean, I thought this is his name. So I said, Mr. Basura, you, come on, you cannot do that. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't speak uh, the language, you know? I love Mexican people, very nice people. Anyone? Once I, I, I was in a vacation and uh, we went to the restaurant and there was a guy with his wife or girlfriend. No, he pointed his finger at a dish. I ate it, it tastes so good. He pointed his finger and it's, he said Ponita. So I thought this is the name of the dish. So the second day I came to the same restaurant and I asked the waitress, I said to her, I look at her and said Ponita. She laughed. Mm -hmm. She came again, she walked by, I said, come here, where is my food, Ponita? She laughed again. Eh? And then she went behind the counter and she came back and she put a phone number for in the, in the table. Like, What's wrong with those people? I'm asking for my dish. She bring me a phone number. Hmm? What? And she's looking at me and talking to her friends. And you can tell, like, they're looking at me, talking about me. So what I did, man? Where's my food? So a guy, he came from the restaurant. He said, hey, listen, man, you speak English? He said, yeah. He said, okay, where is my... And uh, all those people came long after me. He said, what you order, sir? I said, Ponita. He said, what? He said, Ponita. <laughs> How in the world I know that this is mean, you know, beautiful, pretty. So she thought I'm flirting with her and uh, she gave me her phone number. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So, but she was not 210 foot, by the way. To be honest with you, she was 205 foot tall. That is the true part of the story. All right. And this is the only reason I did not call her back because she was like 205 foot and she's very short for me, you know? She's not even to my knee. Alhamdulillah. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? No, I did not call her. I want to eat what call her. But it worked, you know? <laughs> Ponita. <laughs> you should see her face when I say to her, Ponita, the women, she like her color change. 
she is getting nervous, but she is not upset, you know. And okay, you know, she shake her head and she left, you know. It work. Bonita. All right. He asked you to show him a flow in the Quran. Uh, all what we showed you already, we did not show you a flow in the Quran. The whole Quran is a flow. Okay, hold on. Choose for me a chapter of your choice, and I will show you the, 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 the bad in it. Any choice. The Quran itself is the book of a flow. Actually, the name of the Quran is wrong. How you call it Quran, then you make it a book. Because in order to call it Quran, it has to be a book first, and then you call it Quran. Ask any Muslim, they say to you that the Quran did not wasn't received to Muhammad in one is as a book, was received as verses, verse here, verse there. So you don't have a book. When the angel came to Muhammad, and he said to him, Iqra, read. How in the world the angel he said to Muhammad read if he did not give him anything to read? He did not give him Quran yet. Huh? Let us show you the hadith. And this goes for the Quran too. Where is uh, the hadith? <clears throat> Let us go to the hadith where Muhammad he tried to commit suicide many times, throwing himself on the top of the high mountain, which is proving that Muhammad is a mentally ill person. As you see here, the inspiration stopped coming to Muhammad. Read carefully. The Prophet becomes so sad when Muraqab al which is his father, and he is the Rehon behind the Quran, uh, the inspiration when he died stopped, and he, in, he intended several times to throw himself on the top of the high mountains. And every time he went to the top of the mountain, in order to throw himself, the Jibreel, the angel, he would appear to him and he say, Oh Muhammad, you are indeed a messenger of Allah. So in, all, in, the, in the truth, and whereupon his heart will become quiet and he go back home. And then the second day he come to do the same. And the funny, the angel, he wait for him and the poor guy climbed the whole mountain to the top of the Himalaya to throw himself. Why you don't appear for him in the front of the door before he go to the mountain? I mean, the guy, the poor Muhammad, he climbed the mountain all the way to the top. And then in the top, before he threw himself, he said to him, Muhammad, don't throw yourself, Muhammad, you are a prophet. Can't you do that before you go to the, leave the home? Now, if you read the story here, you will see an angel, he came to him supposedly in the cave. And by the way, nowhere it says an angel. Muhammad even did not know who is this guy. A guy appearing from and he starts squeezing him. And the one who told him that this is an angel, it was Waraqad al-Nawfal, which is not even a Muslim. According to the Muslims, he is a Nasara. So the guy who saw the angel, he did not recognize the angel, but the one who did not see him, recognize him. That makes him make sense. I mean, the one who saw him, he did not know him. But the one who did not see him, he know him. It happened only in Islam. Okay? So the angel came to him, and then, uh, brother, he said to him, he, uh, he came to the cab of Hara, and the angel came to him and asked him to read. How in the world you ask him to read? You give him nothing to read. You are talking about a flow. From the beginning of Islam, Islam is a flow. I come to your house. I open the door. And the first word you say to me, read. Huh? Read. What? Read. Even Mr. Bean don't do that. And after squeezing him three times and he keeps saying to him, read, and the guy he said, according to the Muslims, I do not know how to read. 
I mean, who, 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 who threw, the guy he told you I don't know what, what you are squeezing him. What is the difference between Muhammad before a squeeze and after a squeeze? Why you squeeze the guy? Read. I don't know what to read. Read. Stop touching me. Okay, read. I can tell you I cannot read. What's wrong with you? The story is very amazing. Not to forget to mention the story of examination of the wahi, where Muhammad, he saw an angel supposedly in the corner of his room, and he told his wife, when you see him, you know, he told her, I see someone in the corner. Only Muhammad can see him. Nobody can see him. So his wife, Khadija, she said, when you see him next time, tell me. And what Khadija, she did? When he told her, okay, I see him now. She said to him, okay, Muhammad come sit here in the top of my right thigh. Huh? Eh? Eh? Sit where? In the lap of Khadija. She said to him, do you see him now? Muhammad, he said, yeah. She said, okay, move to the other side. Do you see him now? Muhammad, he said, mm, yeah. Khadija, she asked, she took off her clothes, stripping, and she asked him to sit in sexual position. And she said to him, do you see him now? He said, no. He said, praise be to Allah, this is an angel. <laughs> and this is exists in a, in a in a chapter called the examination of the inspiration of Allah. Can you believe it? This is how Khadija examined the inspiration of Allah. And if you don't believe me, let me show you the reference. Oh boy. This is the book of Asir al Nabawiya. By the way, this story exists in many books. I mean, it's not only here. Page number 239, volume number 1. Let me show it to you in English, not only in Arabic. What we will do in order to get the English one, I don't know if any of you have the English page. I mean, the translation for this book, I don't know if it exists, but we will use Google Translation, you know, for now. I will click in the front of you, click Translate to English. You know, in order to do that, you have to use Google Browser, otherwise this uh, this uh, function will not function. I just made Quran. Function will not function. Fankashino. The Fankashit. But the bita, the bita, عشان تجيب البتاع. The Fankashino. So here she say that Khadija, Muhammad, he sees someone, all right? And he don't know. He don't know who is this guy. He see him in the corner. It's not easy to see somebody in the, I see somebody in the corner, oh, this is a cockroach. So he sees someone in the corner. It says here, Khadija may God bless with her that she said to the Messenger of Allah, God bless him and grant him peace. Uh, cousin, can you tell me about your friend who come to you? He's a friend. <laughs> Johnny, who is in your bedroom? Mom, nobody. I heard you talking to somebody. This is somebody in the corner. And then Khadija, after she said that to him, he said to her, okay, later, he said, he came to me, he came to me, okay? And he, she said to him, get up, get up, cousin, and sit in my left thigh. By the way, the only reason until now I'm not a prophet, I don't have a wife. I'm going to sit, sit in the thigh of who? To examine the inspiration. It's requirement. It's like, you know, when you do testing for Corona, you have requirement, you know, like there, there's a special tools and medicine, etc. So you cannot do it by yourself. Muhammad, he sees somebody in the corner. He's not sure who is going to do that. The thigh of Khadija. Sit here. And then he said, and the messenger, his translation is very funny, but it's okay. You know, better than nothing. Do you see him? He said, yep, I see him. 
Yep, yep. Scooby Scooby Doo. Those movies you see only in Scooby Doo Scooby Doo cartoon. This is a prophet of God. Scooby Doo make more sense. Then you are asking me to show you a flow. The whole Quran is a flow. This is God, this is religion. And who is the one who inspired Khadija? Funny, the Prophet is Muhammad. But the one who inspired about how to discover if someone is an angel or not is Khadija because she is expert in striptease. She starts stripping. And you ask the Muslim why, why, how that to prove that this is an angel? He said, oh, if he's a shaitan, he would like to enjoy have, seeing them having sex. Really? Mm. I'm very convinced. Don't forget to subscribe, because those who subscribe, Allah will give them 72 versions. Yes, yet they are not version, by the way. I mean, they are used, to be honest with you. But Allah will make them version again. I mean, even uh, the heaven of Islam does not make sense. The earth of Islam does not make sense. The, the, the logic of beat your wife. Why beat my so, so she can obey you? My friend, she will not obey you. She will cheat on you. What do you mean beat your wife? Since when beating the women will make it better? The funny, the Muslim, they say, uh, the Prophet, he said, treat animal. There's a woman, she gave uh, water to a dog, he promised her to go to heaven, but he ordered to kill the dogs. So the one who gave water to the dog, he will go to heaven, and the one who ordered to kill all dogs, he will go where? I mean, do you see how merciful this garbage called? Brother, do you know that the Prophet said that the woman, she gave water to the dog, she will go to heaven, brother? Eh? But isn't it Muhammad who ordered to kill all dogs and then when the people start complaining that they need the dogs, he said, okay, don't kill the guardian dog, kill the rest. How merciful. Read carefully. The messenger of Allah ordered us to kill dogs. And we carried out his order. Mm. <laughs> Remember, we are talking about people who live 1400 years ago. Dogs at that time as necessity for protection, for alarm. It is not like today, you know, people, they put a dog in the house for fun. He's so cute. At that time, they are extremely needed. And until now, actually, if you are a person who lives in the middle of nowhere, you have a little farm, you need dogs. Your security camera will not help you. You don't have internet there. And dogs can, ch you know, chase a, a, a fox away. They can chase... A, uh, uh, animals away, so you know they are very useful. What, what, why you want to kill the dogs? Muhammad he explained more by his fiction. The dog or any animals who have black stuff in their in their color. That's why he says the black dog is the devil. So later he focuses in the black dog, for he is a filthy racist. He believes in superstition, and he believes that just because the dog is a black. He must be killed. And this is Sahih Muslim. The Muslim cannot say, the Muhammadan, they cannot say this is not true. They ask him, uh, the Messenger of Allah said, when any of you stand, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, okay. So two things will disturb a Muslim prayer, a dog and a donkey and a woman. Women, he made the women equal to dogs and donkeys. And then I said, he's asking the one who was narrating the hadith. He says to him, O oh, Abu Dhar, what feature is then the black dog which distinguishes it from the red dog or the yellow dog? He said, Oh, son of my brother, I asked the messenger of Allah the same as you asked me. He said, the black dog is the devil. So if you are a foolish man who believe that the black dog is a devil, welcome to Islam.
You see, colors of animals or colors of a human have nothing to do with who, how, we, who, how good we are. That's absolutely false. A black person can be one billion times better than me, and vice versa. This is individual thing. This is not about color. If a person, he grow up in, a, in a, an educated society, he will be uneducated, as simple as that. And then you expect from what you expect from someone uneducated. So if you say to you, to you like in a in a society, etc., you know they have uh, uh, too many crime because simply there's a problem. It's not the color. It's about education, opportunity, changing their life. So that can happen for you being white or Asian or black. And we have to be honest, we don't have equal opportunity. Is someone who lives in India right now, in the street of India, he is have the same opportunity as an American child? No. Regardless of the color, just change the location, opportunity change. Life change. Just by changing the location. If you take the same person who lives in America, take his citizenship from him, throw him in India, he will have different life. It might be very miserable. Never judge by the color as the filthy Muhammad. Who said that the black people are created to go to hell? In the hadith, the admin can post the link for you so you can save it. And the white people, they are created to go to heaven. And he said, I don't care. Your best friend in saying is already finished. My friend, let us not to make fun of a dead man. He died, that's it. All of us, we will die. Don't do this, what the Muslims do. So what, if I die tomorrow, the, the, you want to do the same as the Muslims? The Muslims will say, Christian Prince, you die. Don't do that. We are fighting the devil, not a human being. This poor guy is now, is going to go where he should not, should not go. So don't make fun of the people. We are not the same as the Muhammadan who dance in the street for the death of somebody. We don't. He die, he die. So what? The Muslim, when somebody die, he speak against Islam. They say, oh, Allah killed him. Allah, he punished him. We don't do that. Let us be smart, intelligent, Christians. The same as the Lord, he said to us to be. Be holy like your father. Be wise. Be strong. Be humble, don't be greedy, don't be proud. If you give with the right hand, don't let the le left hand know. When you pray, pray in your closet. Jesus always is against hypocrisy. That is our Lord. Why Islam stands for every hypocrite behavior. When one of them die, they don't say Allah punish him. When one of us die, he say, Allah punish him. We don't do what they do. Actually, Muhammad, he said that, don't do what they do. <laughs> you just remind me of this funny thing. Let us mention it. Don't forget to subscribe, please, okay? Because if you subscribe, we'll get you more funny stuff of Muhammad, brother. Here you see the, hip the hypocrite Muhammad, the one, the thief who got busted. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up in a funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, who? A learned Jew, not a YouTuber, which means a rabbi, once passed him and said, this is how we do it. What he said? This is how we do it. Uh -huh. And what the reaction of Muhammad, he said, sit down, sit down act differently sit down sit down act different what the heck so you were praying according to allah teaching and then just because the jew he said to you this is this is how we do it in a second the hypocrite muhammad he changed the prayer sit down sit down act differently okay what if the jew he says this is not how we do it 
Muhammad, he will not say, sit down, sit down, act differently. I mean, that, that's hilarious. What if you are eating Muhammad and you are putting a food in your mouth and a Jew walk by and he say, this is how we do it. What Muhammad will do? Push it in your nose. Act differently. So you, you read from your nose now? Here you see that this guy is a fraud. You don't change a prayer given to you by Allah, which is supposedly God, just because a guy walking by saying to you, this is how we do it. So what if this is how he do it? But because he feel guilty, he knew he is trying to copy them. He knew he's a fraud. In a second, in the speed of light, sit down, sit down. Bye, brother. brother. Sit down, all of us, sit down, brother. Yes, sir, sit down. Okay, sit down. Uh, brother, now what we will do? Act differently. How you can pray and sit down? I mean, it's a funeral. There's a dead guy, and now it's time to sit down? Sit where? It's very clear that Muhammad is a true prophet. We have to admit. And if you don't believe me, sit down, sit down, act differently. Actually, I need to make a song about it. It's very nice. Actually, Muhammad today remind me of the Democrat and Republican. Uh, Trump, he says something. The, 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 uh, uh, the Democrat, they say, sit down, sit down, act differently. Uh, Trump, he said there's no need for the mask. But mask, but mask, act differently. Trump, he said, we're going to build the, the wall. The, uh, the Democrat says, turn it down, turn it down, act differently. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you do. If this guy, he go to the bathroom, he says, don't go to the bathroom, act differently. Like, I mean, phobia. The phobia. The fear of the phobia. Do we have any Muslim? If you like what we do, if you like to listen to us, always you can find us by going to Patreon. You will see the last link I post in there. And you click at the last link, you will be able to join us wherever I, because I change uh, the broadcast location from time to time, as you see. We have a lot of people who they hate what we do. And because they hate what we do, we do it more. Sit down, sit down, act differently. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, it's good to be stupid, by the way, honestly. I mean, you feel comfortable, you sleep easy. Your brain will turn off so easy. You will snore in two seconds. Sit down, sit down, wake up, wake up. The Jews, they slept, we have to wake up. They wake up, we have to sleep. Subscribe to our Facebook, to Minds.com, and to Patreon. And uh, don't forget Instagram too. So you can be updated about when we will go live on air. I say to the Muslims, my friends, Christ, he loves you. And here we are here to save you. We are just showing you that what you believe in is not a salvation. It's a form of deception. God is not a pimp. You do not need to be a genius to know that God, there's no way that God, he will say, I'm going to make women for them to have sex because they worship me. Ah, get ready, brother. There's no way that God will give you the power of 40 men because what's the difference between power of 40 men and one man? I mean, what you will get? Why not 400? I mean, he stopped with 40, how cheap? So you will be sex addict. You will not even enjoy eating a fruit. You will be having sex 24 hours, seven days a week for eternity. How painful, how sick. How literally sick. Love does not exist. Passionate does not exist. 
reward of billy and stomach and penis is the target. This is how low Islam is. And this is why we reject it. If you see and you read what Jesus said, you will see that Jesus always make it so clear. It's not what go inside your mouth make you dirty. It's what come from your mouth. And what came from the mouth of Allah, Aka Muhammad, is very filthy and dirty. Promise me 80,000 little boys. So to make one person happy, and I don't know what kind of a sick person would be happy to have 80,000 little boys around him to serve him, suppose I'm going to Muslim, that is sick. You must be a sick person to accept such a reward. That is a child abuse. You must be a perverted man to accept such a service. And the finally the Quran and the Hadith says that in the heaven, you will not take a shower, your clothes will never be ruined, you don't go to the bathroom. So what the servant will do? And if you wish, if you see a bird in the sky, brother, you say the password. Bismillah. The second you say it, brother, the bird will be cooked in front of you. So what the servant for? There's a video made by a Muhammad and his name, Dr. Uh, I forgot his name. The description of paradise. Anyone remember? It is hilarious. Once I played this video in a church, people, they fell down in the floor from laughing. Literally. Uh, sure, with my comment, you know, because, uh, you, you know, the, the funny is, you, you watch the same thing, you, when you are alone, you don't, you don't, you don't notice, most of people don't notice, but with my comment, people were dying from laughing. No? This is why they advise them, uh, before you come to the church, if you have a heart problem, bring your medicine with you. If you have a heart problem with the breathing, please don't join. Because you will laugh a lot and you might die. Yeah, in the Dean show, right? So anyway, I want to say thank you all of you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your humble brother, Christian Prince, was here to help you, to serve you, to serve the Muslims, to show them the truth, and the truth will set you free. The Lord teaching is the best. There's no wise, there's no wisdom, but by him. Any man who claim wisdom, is a foolish. Any man who deny him is a foolish. And he said, from their fruits you shall know them, not from their speeches. Islam origin of speeches, but ugly fruits. So don't make them fool you with the speeches. There's many people, they cover the grave by marble, expensive one. But my friend, the grave is a grave. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. It is a grave. It's made from marble or dust. It is a grave. And Islam is nothing but a grave. I'm saved by the Lord. And he is holy. His act is holy. His words is holy. And his wisdom is amazing. If somebody asks you for your coat, give him your dress. Ask you for a step, walk with him a thousand. Be holy like your father. That is the order of the Lord. See you. God bless you. And see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't mind. Take care.